Say it again! Wait, hold on, this is loading screen, just trying to do the intro right now. Hey, what's good? My name is Bex again. Welcome back to another part of Crimes and Punishments, Sherlock Holmes. You know what I'm saying? Alright, bet. So, last episode, we. Alright, bet. So, last episode, we saw this dude. Dead Peter Carey, this nigga got p impaled with a fucking harpoon, and that's pretty metal. And, um, we, uh, looked around and stuff, we snooped around, figured out some dude, he was trying to jimmy the lock, you know what I'm saying? If we look here, there's some scratches on that bitch right there, you see what I'm saying? Uh, so we're gonna set up an ambush, and I'm trying to figure out how the hell to do that. We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin, near the window. Near the window. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead, go, go ahead, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, literally behind. Can we go back here? We can. Okay. Like here? This looks like the perfect hiding place. I suppose. Unless he tries to get in the back and try to jump into there. That, that would suck. The fate of Black Peter. This game is so cool. I feel like it's not going to hold your hand later on. And I'm going to have to figure this out by myself. And I'm going to be horrible at this. Oh god. We got we some lurking ass niggas right now. We are just lurking. Lurking. Plotting and scheming right now. He better come try to unlock this door, cause I'm Shh. Nigga, hear that? I'm talking I'm trying to talk. Shit dude. And yes I heard that, dirty nigga. Hear him right now, boy. Who that boy? There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. I don't know what that means. Police! Hold it right there! Hold it right there! Yeah, we got him, boys. Let's go around back. I'm running around the front. Mr. Holmes, come. Mr. Holmes? See ya! All right, my fine fellow. Who are you? Is he really what a fine fellow? Here? You're detectives, I suppose. The pizza man. You imagine Shit. that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey? I assure you, I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey, but we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I. I didn't. What kind of name? Do you deny that you came here yesterday? Hopley? No, but, but I, yes, it, it's just that I couldn't. I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't. I'm not. It's a terrible mistake. Enough. You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. What is the yard? What's in light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome. You better be, boy. I put in work. I'm the only one that put in work. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. I, I did the voice acting for this dude, so um, I think you can tell. You know what I'm saying? Under the sun, the bastard son will pop the clock to feed himself and family. This is a nice ride. Are we texting? Are we on Twitter right now? Woo! What's good, boys? Hey, fam. What's good? I said, what the... F I can't click on you. Fuck it, dude. Hey, yo. Hey. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Good Does morning, everyone Constable. look and talk the same? I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. I see. Thank you. Thank you, my boy. I'll pay you dearly. Not really. I'm fucking I'm broke. I'm not gonna pay his ass. I ain't paying him shit. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go off. The screen splits are fucking joyous. What is this? 
Fucking gnats flying around my room, dude. Get off me! Why do I have gnats in my house? Go. <laughs> Nelligans. These are the suspect's belongings. Yeah, I know. But we need to we need to go and interrogate this boy. Hey, boy. Wait, that's not even him. Mr. Holmes. Interrogation room. Hey, boy. Let's close this door so we don't hear you getting whooped. God damn, we got fucking wow. We just got uh some some devices laying around here. Some good old devices. I don't want to have to use this baseball bat on you, son. It's not a baseball bat, I know. It's a wiffle ball bat, obviously. Gold ring, boy. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Rings engraving. Uh, so we need to call sh call bullshit on something, but we need to choose the right thing. It's kind of like L.A. Noire. Nor? Nor? No, I don't know how to pronounce it. Identified foot... Uh, so we're gonna click this. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then. Hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. Damn, look at your face now, boy. You know you done fucked up. Notebook. Does this notebook belong to you? you say about this notebook yes but where did you find it i did not know i i, I thought i'd lost it at the hotel the hotel what you lying ass mean? oh no i beg you i can't if i told you it would only make things worse but i will find out right now Nilligan. we got that boy in the palm of our hands the sea knife was found near carrie's body tell me mr nelligan did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Look at this boy. He's a liar. Let's let's check him out. His hat. Versace. I'll give you that. Hold up. All right. There's Gucci. Let's see here. Oh 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 oh. Ah yes. What's an expensive fabric that I can, um, 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 cam chamomile, chamomile, that's not, e <laughs> what the fuck am I talking, oh, hold up now, what's that, elaborate buttons, but do they do anything when you push them, eh, short sleeves, boy, you flood, how you flooding with the, with the shirt, I didn't know that was possible, calluses, he's been lifting, scars, so you've been doing some dirty work with them hands, boy, there's one more thing we gotta, we gotta snoop, smell it out. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, he's got on that cologne. The neck. All right. Yeah, he's got that pencil neck. Rings owner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Lies. Rings engraving. Well kept garden. It has nothing to do with anything. Profile of the victim. Tobacco pouch? It's your father's jacket. No, Mr. That's Nelligan. not your North Face. That the ring it's your daddy's boy. Your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. Oh! I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Well, I will see you soon, young man. I mean, I don't know what that has to Please do with anything. let me go. I'm innocent. Investigate suspect. Investigate the murder. John Nelligan seems not to be a usual thief. What is his role in this? What am I doing? Alright, so we're not done here. We need to go to the archives. To the archives, away! Alright, let's leave here. Close the door! Yeah, that's what I thought, boy. Close this one, too. Yeah, I got that telekinesis. Boy, they call me Eleven. So, uh, can uh, you point me to the archives? Mr. Holmes? 
someone uh, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Can someone please point me to the archives? Oh, okay. We can. I forgot we can do this. Just gonna click a bunch of stuff till it works. <gasps> we need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man can use a harpoon well enough to kill a full, a full, and by fully piercing a body. So. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. We're gonna stab Watson with a harpoon. Prepare for a harpoon throwing experiment. Bet. <laughs> this is so weird. Um. Locked. This is his office, right? Inspector of the Stroud. Never mind. Um. Where? Watson boy. Watson. Watson boy. Watson, is that you? Smoking on that Mary Jane? No, probably not. We're gonna get out of here. Woo! All right, bet. Loading screen's done. All right, Watson boy. Are my frames in here. Are you Watson? Yeah, you are. Bet. He was here. Son of a bitch. I was looking all over the pl the yard. I was looking all over the yard Watson, for you, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No. But we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. But if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Harambe. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throat? What the fuck? No. Well, thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. <laughs> Damn. Watson. <let> us <laughs> so he's so he's so sad about that. My chapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. You have to go get all that stuff. I'm really mad. <gasps> oh my god, it's a dog! Toby, what's good? Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. Yeah. Who's a good dog? You are Toby. You're a good dog. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. We out this bitch. Holmes out, boys. All right, Whitechapel Butcher. Oh my God! Don't make me go to the fucking Woodman's Lee for a fucking. Oh my God! That should do it. Now I am ready for the experiment. Let's rob these niggas. All right, bet I got the fucking harpoon. We're at the butcher place. This looks really weird. I'm uncomfortable. Bet hi. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. Holmes, right. you should aim for the mark. In order to perform the most reliable test. I got you, fam. Oh shit, can we 360 this? Oh! Hold my breath, aim. One. No, 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 we gotta. Oh fuck. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Right. <laughs> fuck. You should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. This is hard, man. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that was worse than the other one. That's good, right? Yeah, boy! First try. The best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well... Yes. Let us leave now. All right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. 
Very well, but please hurry. Of course. We got stacks like that, boy. Buy them pigs. Can we take this back? Yo, look at that. I got that perfect, boy. Not really. Let's get out of here. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Actually, I don't know. Because we, we, um... What's it called? Wait, what the fuck are we doing? I don't know where to go. It's here. We have to be here. I feel like we have to be here. But I don't know where. Where? Alright, we're gonna look everywhere. Right? These are the I know. These are... These abbreviations mean something. Alright. They're probably initials. If anything. Hold on, hold on. Maybe we need to go ahead and link some stuff in our in our thing. It requires much greater strength than that of the average man to be able to pierce a man's chest with a harpoon all the way through the wall. A degree of skill would most likely be necessary. Two men in cooperation might achieve the same result. There is a remote possibility that an unskilled and untrained man could manage to pin Peter Carey to the wall with a harpoon. Feet of strength. Okay, so we have to choose. Um, no, nah, I say this one. So, alright, we're, we're gonna go feet of strength. Right, right, right. Okay, so, what about that? Dude, fuck! Alright. I hate being stuck. I hate being stuck. It's always me. <laughs> it's always me. I gotta be stuck. I have to be stuck. I don't know what to do. No, that's useless. I'm going there. Let's go in here. I don't want to go somewhere because the fucking loading screens take 10 years, dude. Oh. <laughs> uh... This is where I keep my post. Ah, okay, yes, okay. God damn. Vaporization tech? What the fuck is this? Dawson and Nelligan are bankrupt. Dawson and Nelligan Investment Fund bankrupt Nelligan missing. The Dawson and Nelligan Investment Fund, the regional banking institution based in Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan loan portfolio. Blah 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 blah. It was the twenty third largest bank in blah blah blah. Joshua Nelligan, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen aboard his yacht preparing for departure to Norway. Nelligan was is wanted both by the police and his creditors. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. Now I begin to understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. I can't move. It is time to ask him. Cool. To the Scotland Yard. Cool, 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 cool. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna... Right? And then we're gonna... Right? And then we're gonna ask him some questions. Boy, I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan. Thought I was done. The West Country I'm back. Bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but... It was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. Yeah! In you fuck boy. Examine the ship's logs. Dude, this is boring. I don't want to fucking look at the ship's logs, man. Ship's logs for the year 1883 might put some light on the connection between Peter Carey. Fuck, oh, I gotta go back. No, no, no. Damn it all!
The load screens give me hepatitis type B. Jesus criminy dude, the load screen. The load screens. <laughs> Alright, we're good though. So my archive. I my archive. I don't even need to be here. I don't even need to be here. I don't even I don't even need to be here. I don't even need to be here. Okay, that's cool. That's great and all. So what am I supposed to do? Ship's log for the year 1883 might put some light on connection between Peter Carey and Nelling Nelligan's father. Ship log for year 1883. What the f where the where the hell's the ship log? Wait a minute, was the ship log at the, th the evidence room? It was the evidence. Fuck it all. I'm not gonna go back. The low screen. <laughs> no. God damn. Right, we're back at the fucking Scotland Yard. We're gonna look at this book. I swear to God, if this book does nothing. The now we know. Now we know what this is. No! My suffering. When will it end? When? Tell me. Someone. Dude, I don't know what the hell. Ship's log for the year 1883 might put some light in the connection with. The ship's log. I'm gonna assume that that's here. Now, if it's not there, I don't know where to go. This way, go to this dude's thing. There's gotta be, there's like a log somewhere, right? Right? Yes! That's the one I need. Oh my god. Yes! This is the coolest of the sea unicorn. That sounds fruity as hell, man. This log notes for June, nothing unusual. Log notes for July, nothing special. Log notes for August, these pages have been torn away. I see. Log notes for August, Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR, mm. a torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require... Oh shit, I think I skipped what he said. Oh god, why did he say no? Okay, wait, what? Wiggins... Who the fuck is Wiggins? Wiggins might help to find the crew of the Sea Unicorn. He should be somewhere at Baker Street. Okay. I like the way it tells me where to go this fucking time. Jesus criminy, dude. Something new, Watson. Hey, I Watson have a boy. List of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard. I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Wiggins and his crew? Them boys? Yes, Watson, them boys. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything. I shut up. you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Wait, what? Dude, they don't tell- Oh my god, this game, man. They don't tell you nothing, man. Fuck, dude. Wiggins? Who the fuck is Wiggins? Where do I find this boy? I can't go anywhere else besides these three places. Watson, I need Wiggins. Is he anywhere nearby? He's right across the street. You can give him a sign from the window. Okay. Wiggins, boy! Wiggins! A big-ass window. could you come upstairs, please? You just stopped and knew. Mr. Holmes? Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? I just called this man stupid. Our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Oh yeah, back then, reading was a thing Here's that they fucking sailors. privileged as hell. Sailors? Easy. Just gotta look where the rum and the red lights are. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Soon as possible. Thank you. I'll be there shortly. Find the crew of the Sea Unicorns. Meet Inspector Lestrade at the Scotland Yard. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do all this. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Next episode, you know what I'm saying? If you like this, go ahead and leave a like. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Subscribe for more con for more stuff, you know. I keep I don't like this outro. I don't like this outro. I don't need to tell you to like the video. I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you in the next one. Won't I? Toby? Now we're gonna close this out with a, a little peek. God, Jesus. Why is this here? Fuck it. Alright, bye.